Hello and welcome to another Friday with V. I am so excited to get our vlog started today because I have been in an entertaining mood and I hope that a lot of you have been as well. So today we're going to be talking about entertaining tips and I'm just going to be walking you around the house and sharing with you some of the crazy things that we are up to and I'm hoping that you guys will share some of your tips as well with us because we are always learning and always looking for new tips and tricks and hacks. So we're gonna be sharing all that with you today. We hope you'll hit subscribe if you haven't already because we are going to still, at the very last minute, be squeezing in our exterior makeover, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and we've had one more holiday makeover that you guys are not going to want to miss. So we've got that coming out very soon to you. So make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. If you are like us and love to entertain at the holidays, whether it's entertaining for one or entertaining for many, I just think that this time of year is just such a wonderful way to just sit and enjoy and really just be festive. So we're going to be talking about all of those scenarios today and how we're doing it in our own home. So let's jump in, shall we? We are starting here at the breakfast table and that is because we have had this set up for a few weeks and I've absolutely loved literally entertaining on a daily basis like this at this table. We love to light the candles, we sit down for breakfast, a lot of times we'll have lunch or dinner with the kids on just a casual day. I've had a lot of fun setting the table. I think setting the table is just a lot of fun because you can pull out whatever dishes you have and really just have a bit of fun. It's not about stressing out about where the forks go. In fact, at the moment, the forks are in the dishwasher. And so what we've done is we just pull it back out over and over and pull it straight out of the dishwasher and put it right back. The kids love it because they don't have to figure out how to put everything away. And uh, I just grabbed some cloth napkins, but you know, you could even just throw some paper ones down if you don't want to have to worry about that. It's not about trying to create work or trying to be, you know, overachieving at this time of year. It's about creating an experience. And that's what we really love. So we pull out whatever plates we've got, whatever I'm in the mood for tends to be what's out on the table. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to actually put down a placemat because the placemat protects the tablecloth and I don't have to worry about having to pull that up and clean everything and I can just wipe these down. Then you can see we have a few little beverage choices. We've got hot chocolate, coffee, uh, a lot of times we'll put some juice in there, maybe something sparkling. Uh, yeah, and then we just decked it out with lots of pretty candles and ornaments and greenery down the table and just kind of filled it up with stuff that I just had. So I think that's a lot of fun. I've got Haley at the store. She's picking up a cake that's going to be going here because we're going to be celebrating her boyfriend, Marco. He's family at this point. Uh, it's his birthday. It's the 21st. So it's a really big deal. And he just got his citizenship as well. So it's big celebration time, big, big celebration. So we're going to have a cake here for him. The other thing that's here are these really fun little crackers. That's something that the Europeans do a lot and we just have adopted it. We just think it's so much fun. Uh, the, the elves got into one of them. So we're, we've got to go find the other one that has been uh, opened, but we've got these sitting here and they're really fun. And I just have a set of them. And so when we have a bigger meal, I just say, okay, let's open them. And then it's fun conversation rather than just waiting until Christmas to open them. We just have a little set of them and have a little bit of fun throughout the, throughout the season. But uh, yeah, I think that's kind of what we've done here. We'll light up the candles and put the cake in. And I noticed there's like one plate missing. And so mm -hmm. I just, I don't fuss over that. I just, you know, just fill it in. And like this little guy is empty, so we'll probably put some some nuts in there um, and just, you know, add some stuff. It's really fun. So yeah, we don't stress over it. I just kind of set the table once and then just kind of move the pieces around as we go. We've had all kinds of, we have pizza parties here. We use it for everything. We have, we had teenage boys, like the whole table is full of teenage boys and Haley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've had champagne in these glasses one night, you yeah. and I. We've had, the kids have had Fanta or like sodas or whatever. Yeah. It's just, it's such a usable table. Yeah, so that's our idea of entertaining is for it just to be easy. It is casual to us. It looks dressy, but it's actually really casual. And the kids will just sit here sometimes and, you know, they ran in from a sport and we tell them to just go wash their hands. And then other times it's like, hey, we're having a nice dinner. Why don't you put some, you know, a nicer shirt on? So it's, it's a little mix. And then over here we have the bar set. Now I'm, I'm laughing because Jack's going to be caught on camera. Uh, this was supposed to be up there. And, oh, shoot. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> it's been sitting there for weeks. It's been there for weeks? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It is actually supposed to be up at the top of the mirror. I actually brought this mirror back with us from Copenhagen. I had found it in a flea market while I was there and we had never found a spot for it to go in this house permanently and I love it here. I absolutely love it. This changes a lot because it just depends on what we're doing. So if we've got somebody's birthday, because we have birthdays throughout this season as well, we'll set it up for birthday. We've got it armed and ready for a champagne evening with some friends and I think that's really fun. Um, and you know, just have a little candle and some little ornaments sitting out and uh, we still have to figure out how to fix the drawer. We bought this piece at the RH outlet and I haven't rigged at the moment <laughs> because it keeps opening. Your dad would be so proud if he saw that. Yeah. And here we do a lot of entertaining as well. This is our main living space and I have been perched. <laughs> you can see. I moved this pillow out. <laughs> I sit right here and Jack just brings me coffee, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, not really, but... <laughs> I actually do. He does actually bring me coffees, and I'm like, can you bring me a coffee, make me a latte? We say it with a sweet voice, and kind of <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool, yes, whatever you want. But you can see, I've been sitting here and doing a lot of just my me time. I really yeah. have. Uh, it doesn't help that the heater is out right now, uh, but <laughs> I have been sitting by the fire a lot in cozy sweaters and uh, the little cashmere bed socks. I joked that they went off-roading in the last one, but you know, because they're out of the bed. <laughs> I mean, this but, is the most cozy space. Yeah, and I just literally sit my coffee right on top of the books and I sit and read all my books. Yeah. And uh, then we, we've had like, Japanese style. I tell the kids it's Japanese style. We'll just clear the table and have a meal right here by the fire. Well, we did it the other night just one time and then Landon the next night like went and did something where we couldn't sit at the table. He was like, well, I guess we have to do this Japanese style again. The elves. That's what it was. The elves had opened the cracker and so we couldn't move the elves and so instead. He was so excited. Mm -hmm, had to have another meal at the coffee table. It was just, I thought it would just be so nice to sit by the fire. And so we just sit or, sat around the fire and then our neighbors came over and we brought the hot cocoa on a tray and cookies and just, we literally sat here for hours. Yeah. And then the other day we had someone else come over and we brought in coffee and yeah, cookies. Your mom was and, here. Yeah, my mom was here. And then my mom and we just really just, our idea of entertaining at the holidays is low stress. Like the room is already done. We've decorated. Yeah. I think most of you have probably decorated by now. If not, we have some great videos out there of some inspiration. But I think at this point, most people have decorated for the holidays and it's really about just sitting back. I don't like to fuss over it too much. To me, that's the best entertaining is when everybody feels relaxed. I don't worry about the pillows getting mushed and sat on and usually the dogs in here, you know, just laying on the cushions and the candles are lit and I just, I love this. I love entertaining like this. Actually, we've got the shaker and spoon in here, which is our video sponsor. So a few weeks ago, we got our very first one and uh, let me back up for just a second and share that with you. I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Shaker and Spoon. You guys are going to love this. I have left my latest kit intact because I wanted to show you how this arrives at your door. Shaker and Spoon is a craft subscription plan and it is so much fun. We just love the whole idea of having a subscription anyways, but getting your cocktails delivered straight to your door, this is is next level. So I wanted to show you what it looks like because it comes packaged so cute. Uh, you can see here, it's got the prep, check out the goods in your box and gather your booze, tools, and glassware. Uh, enjoy, be sure to watch the how-to videos. They literally give you the recipe in the box and they give you all of the ingredients. Sea salt flakes, lemongrass salt. This is grape fennel seed cordial. It's made in small batches. That is so cool. So inside we've got recipe cards to make the putting on the Ritz, uh, the Just Peachy. One more please. I think that I'm going to make the Just Peachy. That's got the uh, Rosolio di Bergamotto, peach lavender syrup, dry prosecco, club soda, and a peach slice. So that sounds amazing. I'm gonna get to work and put this together and we are going to have a really fun cocktail for the evening. I'm so excited. I love this. I can't 
can't believe how easy this was. I know, it's so cool. This is amazing. So yeah, just peachy. Shall we try it? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's really, really good. That is so good. Would you like it if, if you got a subscription like this for Christmas? Uh, yes. So Shaker and Spoon has sent us a discount code. I'll all the details down below in the show notes. And uh, let's get back to today's video. After a few sips of this. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. We have absolutely loved having this subscription. I think it makes a great gift idea, but I will have all the details down below in the show notes. That's just such a fun thing, wouldn't it? Be to have it love, show up every month. I would love to have that as a gift. Yeah, I think it it's really great. Would. I think it's great. So that's one way of having things ready. You have got your cocktails ready to entertain. Yeah. We've got the espresso station literally just sitting Man, here. Ready yes. Place. We've got the cup sitting here. We've got cups on the table. We've got all the espresso pods and everything. Uh, got a little bit of honey to drizzle inside of them. Ooh, that's so pretty. Yeah. The other thing I did is that I actually went to Williams Sonoma and I treated myself to some really pretty tea towels because some of ours do get, start to get a little bit, you know, dirty and used. And I thought it'd be nice while we're entertaining the holidays and everybody's over here to have a really nice set of towels and then having the the soaps out. It's just, just a lot of things that just make it fun, I think, at the holidays. You've got our simmering yes, pot. Yes, let's talk about the smell. If there was smell vision, you guys would be loving this right now. You would, I don't know, they might love or hate us because they'd be like, and now I need a cookie because it yes. smells like there's cookies baking and yeah. that's a little bit of a hack right there is to just have the simmering pot. It's got, today it's got the mold spices, it's got apples and I think you threw some cloves and some... I put cloves, I put cinnamon sticks, I put star of an, uh, anise, is that what it's called? Anise, yeah. I put star of anise in well, there as well. Well, I say anise, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just some oranges and apples oh, and cherries. It smells and divine. It smells so good in here. It smells like a cookie's going and I have not baked today. So my baking I usually do right at the end of the season. I don't know if we'll even get that on to the channel. So you'll definitely want to be a subscriber to our Instagram as well because that's where we'll be showing all the last minute baking and taking stuff to the neighbors yeah, and all that kind of stuff, stuff. Uh, then of course we have the mixer out all right, ready to go <laughs> we do right now the cookbooks are out yet ooh I need to start creating my little cookie list yes so we've been doing instead a lot of pre-done cookies because it's it's just not reasonable for me to be baking all the time so instead what we have is we have like our little entertaining station <laughs> Jack tried to convince me that we should leave this here permanently and I was like I don't think so I don't think so and now I'm like oh man we've gotten so addicted to this being here if we left it permanently I think I would actually just close in the door and yeah. just have them close it in and make it a permanent because you can walk right around. So you still have easy access to the dining room on the other side yeah. for resale purposes. So I think we might just close that in if we were to leave a piece like this here. Yeah. But the great thing about this is that it is ready. It is armed and ready for entertaining. We can have 30 people, 50 people show up right now. We got it all. And we can be ready. <laughs> yes. So ready. We've got this amazing cooler. We discovered these on Amazon. I love this bronze color. It also comes in a really pretty silver and I think a black as well. Yeah. These are amazing because you can stick any bottle in them and it keeps it cold. I actually felt like it made it colder but for like yeah, two it hours. Really it was colder to me after it had been sitting for two hours in this. Uh, it really just keeps it and doesn't sweat at all. So you don't have to worry about your furniture getting damaged. Then uh, I have this. <laughs> this is actually for me. It is for you. <laughs> this is the, the Macallan uh, Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. I know. I'm, She's the whiskey drinker. <laughs> I'm letting too much of myself out on this channel. but. I'm the whiskey drinker, and I love when the guys come over and they're like, oh, we get to have a whiskey with Valentina, so. And I'm with the ladies saying, where's all day? And then Jack is like, with my can, cocktails. We, can we have the cherry liqueur? <laughs> am I right? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, in fact, for Jack. Well, there's a reason we bought the cherry liqueur. Yeah. That was to go with what you're about well, to Well, I, I ordered Jack, because he likes the cocktails. Uh, I ordered him some of the really pretty little cocktail picks to go in drinks and uh then we also bought these little liqueur this is cups. what i'm excited about so i oh. bought these amazing little cherries oh we're, we need to just open this like you just need to see <laughs> this was you guys remember this was the cocktail yeah so it's really just kind of a but mess. now it's the, it's uh, a disaster 
zone because Jack just grabs cookies and shoves them back in it's here. It's the entertaining bar. Now. Yeah, this is the wood for reserve. I have I have another one of these <laughs> in the refrigerator. I don't know how, but I accidentally ordered three of these, and I was like, what am I going to do with three? And now we're down to one. Yeah. <laughs> they are so delicious. They're like a maraschino cherry, only they're good. And we were thinking they'd be really yummy to add to the little cup and uh, add a little bit of the liqueur to it. Um, but then, of course, we also have non-alcoholic beverages. We have a lot of non-alcoholic beverages because we love to have coffees and hot chocolates. So we've got the classic Starbucks hot chocolate. We've got a few of these. We've got all kinds of, just, this is where Jack's chocolates go, just in case you were wondering. If you wonder what Jack's really good at, Jack's really good at buying treats. Yes. So I mean, all yeah. those treats that you've been seeing us buy at Home Goods and yeah, Ikea, goods, yeah. this thing is fully loaded because we like when somebody comes over, we'll pull out a little treat and we'll stick it out on the, the coffee table. And so we like just being, being able to spontaneously uh, entertain. I've got the pedophores that are on the other table in here. Which, there may be a few missing. Oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, I didn't eat all those. <laughs> but you've eaten more. I did try one of each flavor. And what is this? Did, where did you get that from? Oh, that was from Whole Foods for uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Another stolen? Yeah, because we gave one away. And when did you get these? <laughs> well, we needed Jack to pack up. Russell. I want to be ready. These? Actually, that cookie, <laughs> this cookie was one of the best cookies that I've had in my entire life. Maybe we were, I don't know that we can entertain and this much. I am a connoisseur of cookies. You, yes, you are. You are the cookie man. This is what they look like. Oh my word. Yeah, you, there's none, there's probably, I, I think that's your least favorite flavor. It is my least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were entertaining. This was for our guests. I had put these out and he ate them all before I could eat them entertain with guests. So I guess he bought a replacement. And then I bought him the uh, the little collaboration with oh. M&S from the UK. They did a collaboration with Target. I told them, because then Haley got excited too. I was like, they sold out. So when you go, get some more. They wouldn't stop buying them then. Well, we both heard the message, but we didn't <laughs> talk about our message. So Haley and I both bought at yes. least 10 of each. Yeah, we have a bunch. So we'll be giving these as gifts if I can uh, get them, if I can manage to get them out of Jack's hands. Uh, but yeah, we just we like to keep this stuff on hand. I've got a little beverage. The uh, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Any other Home Alone fans? Uh, got those in here. We've got some gingerbread houses to build Ooh. with the kids. We've got some extra little hot chocolate paraphernalia. <laughs> These are the ones with the hot with the um, with the white chocolate and then with the marshmallows. And uh, I think did you? Then I've got my little thing down here with some really nice entertaining napkins oh, yeah. as well. Napkins. Just want to have some quick and easy ones. So uh, yeah, and then Landon I think ran off with we have like we had like little marshmallows he, and yeah he made hot chocolate this morning or I made hot chocolate this morning and he really wanted frosty the it was like a snowman marshmallow. Yeah. So those we found at Target actually. So I'll I'll link those up for you. Before we leave here, I got to show you one thing that Jack found for me. That was an early present. If you watch our videos, you might have seen me mentioning that we used to have this Christmas china. My husband found it on eBay for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he has scored some serious brownie points. We've got Sandy Claus. We've got uh, more to the left. <laughs> That's awesome. We've got. Wee! <laughs> oh, that is awesome. And uh, black and black tie optional. Oh, that's my favorite. That's so <laughs> of funny. course it is. <laughs> so yeah, I've got some more uh, entertaining to do just from here, and we've got the little candles here that we light and sort of made it official, sort of not. <laughs> I even have like the little aprons hanging here. I know, I noticed that earlier. Yeah. I was like, oh, look at that. Yeah, I bought that at H&M like a few years ago and every kid's worn it. So Aww. I think Landon's get, getting a little big for it, but we won't tell him that yet. <laughs> not yet. Here, come in here. The one thing that you're not getting right now is the Christmas music because normally, oh, we're under oh. oh, underneath the mistletoe. Underneath the mistletoe. <laughs> I don't know if we got a video on that. But. You got to make sure you have your mistletoe hung and That's you strategically right. place it so that you can kiss all of your children when they come underneath the door. And I'm like, exactly. Every single one of them. Even so. the elves got in on it. Yeah. Oh, Look yeah. At the oh, <laughs> <laughs> and 
up to so much mischief this year. Did you get a, a flash of my really great little off-roading, off-roading socks? Off-roading cashmere bed socks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have actually kind of taken the space back for entertaining this year. It's something that we didn't do last year until actually Christmas Day with my family. Normally what we do is we just have like a huge spread in here. We do huge charcuterie boards and everybody just, they know they can just, we are opening presents and hanging out and we just hang out for hours with them by the fire and everybody just gets up and gets a snack and goes in there and it's just wonderful. This year at Thanksgiving we actually set the table and loved eating in here so much that we've now made it a little bit more of a habit. So I've got it set at the moment. I actually ended up borrowing my mom's. This is my mom's china that she's had since she was first married. Oh, so and cool. uh, I've got that. I've got some H&M in here. I've got some Amazon napkins, just a little uh, ornament that I found at Home Goods. the little pedophores. This is one of my favorite oh, flatware sets. Yeah. That's everybody's favorite. And actually you can buy them on Amazon. It's for Tessa, but it's amazing. It's amazing quality. Uh, really, really great. I've got them set for the hot chocolate bombs so we can have a really nice brunch in here. And I've noticed that the chocolates and the little treats have started to dwindle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, someone has been breaking in in the night and eating these. I'm not sure who that is. I'm not sure who it is, but I have actually seen Haley and the other kids just kind of sneak in and they'll grab one or two. And I like it because this is where my office is. You can show them where my desk is. I, uh, I stole Landon's desk chair. I was having a little bit of trouble with my back, so <laughs> I stole his desk chair. And this is kind of Command Central where I answer my emails and everything. And so everybody comes in to my office a lot of times, and so it's nice to have little treats out for them. I even have these that are like little foil wrapped little almonds. And I saw really Haley nice. here sitting yesterday talking to you, and it's just so nice because they yeah. can, they'll grab a drink, they'll bring in a little coffee or hot chocolate. I think she had yeah. a tea yesterday, and then they'll eat a little snack, talk to you. It's been really nice. It's been really nice. Yeah, at the moment we've got the candles all lit, and um, I have Haley, she's actually at the store right now because we're gonna do a big charcuterie for Marco for his birthday. So I'm actually gonna replace this with some greenery that'll go here. I put flowers here, I put a big vase here, and I just had the kids just bring stuff back to the spot. I stole one of the cups. You can see where I was I was drinking out of one of the cups. So oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see, we just use it. We, we don't worry about it. We just pull the nice stuff out. We mix it in with stuff that's inexpensive. We've got the water bird mixed with H&M. That's, in this, that's crazy. That's I don't so worry cool. about it. And I found these like really pretty bowls. I found those on Amazon, with the little fluting on them like that. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I just threw some ornaments in here. I decided I want a little bit of red, so I threw some red in. And then knowing me, when the red ones are gone, there's gold ones, then I'll change the little setting up and what is sitting on here. And so uh, I just love it. I love to entertain. I love to just pull things out and use it and have some fun. And for me, as a designer, this is an, a quick and easy way <laughs> of designing something quick and it goes away it, rather than like I have to paint the entire room and do all that stuff. So this is just a fun way if you love to do creative things to get creative with your table. And so it, it definitely changes. Then down here, it's probably not neat or tidy at all. Probably there people are, are, have wanted to see this <laughs> forever. One of the questions I get asked the most oh is gosh. where do you guys store stuff? Uh, it's a little bit of a mess at the moment, to be honest. You can see a little leftover of the Halloween pretzels, pretzels that are left. So this is this is the real deal. I, didn't, I haven't staged this or anything for today. I just, I have some extra dishes in here and um, some candles. This one is fun. This is like our candle station. So we know we want some candles. This is where we come. This is one of Oprah's favorite things on Amazon, actually, Old Saint Wick, and it just smells so good. It's like a it's like a Christmas tree in a candle. It, it's unbelievable. That is awesome. But yeah, they were sold out, but I'll link them up just in case they do come back, and they have other fragrances as well. But yeah, that was one of her, Oprah's favorite things. I've got ribbons in here. I've got ribbons. I've got extra almonds. I've got... A stash of gift tags that are in here and yeah, you are ready to go. I've got tape dispensers. I've got I ordered a ton of these off of Amazon. They have these absolutely gorgeous matchstick boxes. I love these because Jack is notorious. 
See, this is a prime example. Jack was lighting the candles and just randomly left it <laughs> in here. He leaves them sitting around. So this is the electric lighter. And a lot of times he'll just walk. There you go. There you walk go. around, throw it places. And uh, when I go to light something, I can't figure out where they are. So I've got a little stash of patches. I've got them sitting in like all the drawers around the house. And I just really love to light the candles, play the music. Playing music is something that we do a lot. We have the music going. We have music that's allowed. It's copy. It's, we have music playing over the video that we're allowed to play, but we have a whole entire playlist on Spotify of, that I listen to. We'll just put on my playlist and listen to it. And yeah, we'll just, I've got some extra candles in case we need a gift if somebody comes over. And I'm like, I oh, it. I gave one to my mom the other day when she was here and one to your mom. And it's got a little bit of a gift stash and entertaining station. So, yeah. so yeah, I think that's, I think can that's I just it. say, this has become my favorite room in the house. It's been for, for just, the holidays. Yeah. I really we didn't do much with this one last year. You put up a tree, but yeah. this year I just want to come in here and sit. Yeah, it we, is so we do. pretty. It is. I, I have to say my favorite spot's probably that's that little corner it by is. the You're fireplace. Over there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it is nice to just have a lot of different places. Just really use the corners of your home, use every space you've got, breakfast tables or little corners in the living room, whatever you've got. Uh, entertaining for one, entertaining for, you know, 50, whatever it is, I think it's all part of entertaining and enjoying the holiday season and I just really love it. So I got a lot of fun sharing all this with you. The kids are about to get back with a whole bunch of charcuterie supplies and some greenery. So we're just going to be freshening things up and celebrating Marco today. I think getting your citizenship is a pretty big deal. I can't even talk about it without crying. I know. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. He's, and celebrating 21. Yeah. So I think we're going to be having a little cocktail with him tonight. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, thank you again to Shaker and Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check down below to uh, get their link and check it out. I think it's an amazing gift idea. Maybe one that I might uh, sign my husband up for, but we'll Yay. see. Guess he'll have to wait and see. <laughs> um, and also, we always leave you with a Friday with the PDF. I'm just gonna do a roundup. I'm gonna do a roundup of my favorite entertaining essentials and share that with you. Uh, you can just hit download. It's always down below in the description box. You gotta just open that with a little arrow down below if you're on your phone or on your computer and all the links are sitting down there if you're looking for it. But it's a free PDF and uh, I'll just do a little gathering up of some of my favorite entertaining essentials. But I think that's about all the time we have for today. Yeah, I think it is. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for coming to hang out with us at our home. I wish you all just a wonderful holiday season. I hope that no matter what, you just use this time of year to entertain and to just get cozy and festive and to enjoy this sweet time that we have with our loved ones. So thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.